on yeah, one. Recording this time on we are the brothers and sisters of the Garden of Christ Church. We are not a biblical, uh, uh, not biblical, we are not a religious group. We are set in place as in this last time to bring forth the truth. Any information that you want to find out, be it from the signs, be it from the Bible, questions, we are here right now to bring forth the understanding. People of San Juan, we are the brothers and sisters of the gathering of Christ Church. We are here to bring forth the truth in these last times. The world that you know today is lying to you. What you have today is a false understanding, false teachings. They even give us a false new year. If we was in a cold, a colder climate country, we would have been in the winter. And there's no new life in winter. They fool us by telling us, according to the Gregorian calendar, that we are celebrating a new year. I understand the good contributions from people, and I understand that we are deceived. But the Bible lets us know that we are deceived for lack of, we are lost and destroyed for lack of knowledge. So we want to go into the Bible and bring forth some understanding of what is needed to be done in these last times. What should we do? What should we be, what spirit should we be in, brothers and sisters? When we go into this book, it's also to bring forth and uncover some of the conditions that the people are dealing with. We are not black people. We are Israelites. We are from the tribes of Israel. We are suffering the curses in Trinidad, suffering the curses in America, suffering the curses in all these different nations that the Western powers pulled us from and separated us. Slavery is a curse. You understand? And us following these different holidays is a curse. We are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Let's get that in the Bible. Let's get the quote there. Listen it. 
The book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verse 18. The children gather wood, and the, fire, and the fathers gather the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. The queen of who? The queen of heaven. Read. And to pour out drink offerings unto other gods. This is talking about a feast day unto other gods. The queen of heaven is Esther. Today it is worshipped as Easter. Right? It was a goddess of fertility. The body of it and the eggs are symbols. I asked the question earlier, what does a bunny rabbit have to do with eggs? Nobody knows, because nobody thinks about it. The bunny rabbit and, the, and eggs are signs of plenty and, and, and fruitfulness. This is a fertility symbol. It is for the God of sex. This is why bunny rabbits have a lot of sex and chickens make a lot of eggs. It is signs of fertility. All this is associated with the Queen of Heaven, Estra. Nobody knew about these gods because they, they, they spent millions of dollars in order to hide their gods in their society. Today, we have all sorts of different forms of worship of all gods. We read it in the Bible, in Isaiah's time, which is roughly one which is roughly 700 BC, right? In Isaiah's time, about things that are going on today. Isaiah's time, the people was following the Queen Mother of Heaven. Today, we do it ignorantly. Nobody even knows about that. Who is the Queen Mother of Heaven? Why they celebrate Easter? Why they name it Easter? It's because of that brothers and sisters. You got more on that?